Hi everyone and welcome back. We are going to talk about Next.js uh, advanced features and some of the common use case of the Next.js. We will talk about some demo applications also. We will write weather application, YouTube application and uh, a blog application with the help of Next.js server side rendering. In previous couple of videos we talked about uh, the basic routing with Next.js, the page based routing. So now we will extend that sessions and we will talk more about page based dynamic routing, how the next router really works, how we can do a data fetching with Next.js in the components. Okay, we will talk about static site generation and server side rendering, how you can populate the environment variables for different environments in the Next.js code and how can you actually serve the static content, static images, font files and all and then the built-in support of CSS with the help of CSS modules, SAS, how you can use them in the, in the next CSS components. Okay. So first thing we will start with understanding about pages. How can you do the basic routing with the help of pages like in the pages folder we are creating hello.js contact about and those pages indirectly becomes the next year's routes. So how can we achieve the dynamic routing like we have a post multiple posts. Now user click on single post and now the route become post forward slash post ID. So that can be managed through the pages folder itself in the pages you will create a posts folder and you will create a uh, I mean square bracket ID dot JS that is being provided by next CS to manage these kind of dynamic routing from the pages also okay so let's let's start these one by one first we'll talk about dynamic routing then we'll talk about next router how it works okay the important part in this whole session is the data fetching mechanism okay because we will talk about get static props right uh, like you wanted to fetch some data using Xeos call then how can you populate that data at the build time uh, or at the run time right so it, there may be use case where you need there is a static data which you wanted to cache in that case you can prefetch that data during the build time and the same data can be served through the cache and if there is some dynamic data like uh, route parameter data every time you hit on the different routes then you are first catching up the ID and then making a API call and then serving the data that is being decided at the runtime. So that will be a different use case. Static site generation is all about when you have only HTML templates only in the in your component that rarely changes, right? So what Nexus does is it is creating a one time build for these HTML templates and same templates are getting served every time because you don't need to re-render, refetch or recompile it it's there your request will goes it will just render it the same okay let's get started on this 